prepare to engage the space fold system. That's never been tested. Either we test it now or become the next prey for the Grey. We can't even be sure that this Federation is out there. We'd be better off heading for the perimeter colonies. This may be our only chance. Hang on, I'm plotting the jump points. If we don't get this right, we could end up in the middle of a planet. Or worse, a great battleship. Two gray wings converging at our location. I'll try to mask our vector with a few micro jumps. I just hope there's something left when we get back. Your father can hold his own. We've beaten off the gray before. Shield's damaged. Eris, I think they've detected the fold drive. Two warships are heading this way. Taking evasive course, standing by to fold. The fold is coming online. Activating. How are our visitors? I've assigned them quarters. The Federation Council still hasn't decided what to do about their request for aid. I'm meeting with Admiral Neche of tomorrow. Until then, there's not much I can do. What else is on my schedule? Well, you have a visitor waiting to see you. And who is it this time? Artem Ibanya, the Baku boy. And why am I seeing him? He just graduated the academy, sir. He was close to Munoz. Right. Uh, I guess I'd better find something for him. Send him in. Yes, sir. Come in. Sir? At ease, son. Congratulations on your graduation. Two years must be some kind of record. Yes, sir. Here's a little something for you. It's been in my collection for some time now. Every officer should be able to defend himself at all times. Thank you, sir. Circa 2270? Somewhere around there. What are your plans? I've been assigned to the science team on Baku, studying the rings. Of course. One of these days we'll find a way to bring the healing properties of the rings to everyone. I'm glad you're part of the team. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, I... I wanted to ask you about Lieutenant Commander Munoz. He's the one who helped me get into the academy. He's commanding the Olympus now. Yes, sir.
The Federation is not currently in a position to offer the kind of resources and aid you're requesting, Princess Eliana. The Grey are slaughtering my people, Admiral. Each week a new raid takes thousands of lives. Princess, forgive me, but I'm not sure I understand how you think the Federation can help you. We have recently developed a space fold technology which allows us to safely transverse large distances within the Briar Patch. We would be willing to share this technology with you if the Federation would agree to help defend our home. You're asking for 1,000 starships. That would leave us shorthanded in our own territory. To say nothing about the Prime Directive of Non-Interference. I have read your Prime Directive. If you were to ally yourselves with the Trend Law Council, you could support us. Then we'd risk inciting a war with the Grey. We're simply not ready for an all-out war with them. We recently captured one of their ships, but it'll take us years to unravel their technology. Admiral, my people have been dealing with the Grey for hundreds of years. If we were to pool our resources, I'm sure we could find a weakness. The Federation does not have any interest in getting itself deeper into the Briar Patch at this time. I'm sorry, but we must remain neutral at this point. Admiral, it may not be long before the Grey find you here in the Briar Patch. You may have to face them, and an alliance with us would give you a significant advantage. The Grey have limited their attacks to unguarded colonies along the edge of the Briar Patch. The Federation Council has already voted. There is nothing more I can do. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. The repairs to your ship are already underway, but you'll have to finish them yourselves as we're not familiar with their technology. Thank you, Captain. We will remain only as long as it takes to finish the repairs. My people need all the help they can get. Come in. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes. Uh, are you familiar with the trend law visitors we have aboard? Yes, sir. News travels quickly. Princess Ileana has a son about your age. I'd like you to show him around, make him feel welcome. It's hard enough being in a strange place. It's even harder not having any friends. Sir? And I'd like you to find out how much they know about the gray. Right away, sir. Dismissed. Hello? Hello. Need any help? You don't look like an engineer. I'm not. My name's Artem. I'm from the planet we're orbiting, Baku. The one with the healing rings? <laughs> the one and only. So, need a hand? No. I'm almost done. I thought you might like to try out our holodeck. No thanks. I have to finish this. I can finish this, Eris. You go ahead. Okay. Beautiful here. Thank you. I'm rather proud of it myself. Do you come here often? Every chance I get. It's a tad more peaceful than sick bay. And people put this on their skin because. I think they used to use it to protect themselves from the radiation from the reactor. I believe this belongs to you and your friend. Mr. Scott likes your garden also. That's what I'm afraid of. Do you bring many other people here? No one. I don't think they'd understand. This is all a holographic projection. None of it's real, well, except for them. What are you doing in my program? 
Can't you read? Or is Do Not Disturb a little too ambiguous for you? Sorry, sir. This is Eris. He's from Chen La. And that means what exactly? He's from deep inside the briar patch. They used an experimental fold system to get here. Ah, oh, yes. Welcome to civilization. The Chen La use powerful kinetic powers. How does that work exactly? They say it's because of small organisms in our blood. But nobody's sure why some people have it and some don't. We've been using it for centuries to fight off the gray. And what do you do with these powers? See that small shovel over there? That bright orange handled trowel? I dare say I do. Don't poke anybody's eye out, kid. So how are your people holding out? Not very well at all. It might already be too late. If the gray are as powerful deep within the briar patch as you say, our help wouldn't do you much good. Would be spread too thin. It doesn't matter now. The Federation has turned down our request for assistance. Sorry, Eris. Hey, before we go back, you want to go see my homeworld? Yeah, sure. <sighs> Don't get in any trouble. We won't. Boys. How do you use your powers to attack the Grey? Well, they usually attack our defenses from orbit, then launch terror attacks on the surface. It's during these planetary raids that we use our powers to distract, evade, and sometimes take over the minds of the invaders. But why not just blast them? Remember what I did with the shovel? Oh, fighting fire with fire, eh? It's the only way we know of that works. Wait, stay low. What is it? A great transport wing. What is it doing here? I don't know. But this is how they usually carry out their terror attacks. How did they get through the system's defense nets? The Grey use a full system similar to our own. It was only a matter of time before they found that the Federation was here. We have to warn the station and the village. If we do, we'll be detected. Computer 2 to beam up. It's no longer in orbit. Your ship's been destroyed. They must be planning an all-out assault. Come on. Where are we going? We're taking that gray wing down there. We're in luck. They deployed the ground forces. How can that be good? Once we're in orbit, we can notify the station about the ground assault. Have you ever flown one of these? No, but my dad taught me the basics. Firing testers. Welcome to Ops, sir. Thank you, Mr. Darwin. Admiral? We've picked up a large fleet of ships moving this way. It's the Grey. Why didn't we detect them earlier? They use a space fold to jump in just outside the system. We're also getting a coded message from a small ship leaving Baku. It has Ensign Ibanya's signature. What is it? Tactical information, sir. Instructions on how to fight the Grey. Apparently, the Grey have sent a small terrorism team to the planet's surface. Deploy all Marines to protect the Baku village. Launch all ships immediately. Captain Knapp, take command of the fleet. I want this invasion stopped. Yes, Admiral. Have Princess Ileana meet me on the Excelsior. Aye, sir. Launch everything we've got.
Battle stations. We have them outnumbered, but I think that's about to change. They're launching fighters. Two can play at that game. Mr. Rollins, have the Kursk and Nimitz carrier wings fall back and launch fighters. All ships acknowledge, they're maneuvering now. Weapons ready, closing to one million kilometers. Fighter wings standing by, sir. Nap to all ships, prepare to engage on my command. Let them fire the first shot. We're not in the business of starting wars, but we're sure as hell going to end one. The battle's underway, sir. Ready several dozen protomatter bombs. When the shields go down, use our transporters to send them a little present. Weapons ready. Open fire. We're having trouble getting through their shields. The metaphasic radiation is re-energizing them, just like in our previous encounters. Are phasers having any effect? Yes, sir, reading a 12% drop in the shields on the gray warship directly ahead. Continue firing. Launch torpedoes. Minor damage to aft shields. They're holding. We've lost five fighters. Attack pattern Theta. Ahead full. They've destroyed one of our cruisers. Redeploy the fleet to compensate. Sir, a warship off our port bow is losing shields. You know what to do, Mr. Barrett. Aye, sir. All ships within 200 kilometers fall back. Hold on. Chalk one up for us, sir. Good work. Now just repeat that 18 more times, Ensign. Hi, Captain. Captain. Your ships are far more maneuverable than theirs. If you continue circling around them, they'll be forced to rotate their shields. And that might give us an opportunity to make use of the transporters. Good thinking. All ships begin a circular attack of the Gray. Sir, they're just outpowering us. You may have to decapitate them by destroying the ethereals on the battleship. We've lost two more ships, sir. Inform the station we need backup. There are no ships to back us up, sir. It would take a week for another task force to get to the Briar Patch. Sir, I'm picking up a Tachyon Surge. More reinforcements, no doubt. One Grey Wing, hardly a decisive entry. Grey Wing to Excelsior. We've got a plan. You'll need a clear path for us to get in range of the battleship. They won't suspect us in one of their own ships. Glad to have you. Helm begin flanking the enemy. Let's try to split them up. Shields down on warships 16 and 17. Barrett, you know the drill. Aye, sir. They're making kamikaze runs with their fighters. Have ships divert necessary power to shields. I don't want anything getting through. Understood, sir. I'm sending that message now. Half shields down to 42%. It's time we go for the jugular. Open fire on the battleship. Evasive maneuvers. Medical emergency, main bridge. Damage report. We have a hole in our dorsal shields. 
redistributing shield grid to compensate. Sir, the command vessel's shields are down. We've got them, sir. Targeting scanners non-functional. The great battleship is preparing to fold. You'd better back off. We're setting a course to intercept the battleship. Acknowledge. All ships move out. Order the fleet to mop up. Captain, I think I have something on sensors. Just what do you think it is? Sir, it might be an escape pod. Any life signs aboard? Two, sir. Lock on and beam them aboard. We're okay, Captain. We did what we had to do. Which was what exactly? We folded the Grey Wing right into the battleship's fold reactor. The results were explosive. Great work, boys. We all owe you on this one. Eris, your mother isn't well. Where is she? In sick bay. You'd better go, son. Helm, set a course for the station. Aye, sir. You're going to be okay. These doctors are better than ours. Don't worry about me, Eris. I have to operate now. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I'm sorry. Eris, never give up. I won't. Captain's Log Supplemental. We've beaten back the gray for now. The Baku village sustained minor damage, but repairs are underway. With the loss of the Trenlaw fold ship, we are no closer to matching the Grey's ability to expand. Come in. Captain, here's the report you wanted on the Baku village. Raven didn't make it, sir. What happened? He went down to defend the Baku with the Marines. He saved them all. But the Grey soldiers ambushed him. We tried everything, but he was dead before we can get him back to the station. I feel as if I hardly knew him. He helped us on many occasions. We've made funeral arrangements. Will there be anything else, sir? No. Thank you, Mr. Darwin. Dismissed. I'm pleased to announce a full recovery for your mother. She's as good as new. Well, maybe not new. What will you do now? It would seem we are trapped away from our home without the fold system. We may never see our people again. We captured a gray battleship a few months ago. We may yet unlock the secrets of this fold technology. It took our scientists decades to replicate the gray's technology. Well, you only have the resources of one planet. Here, we have the resources of an entire quadrant. Perhaps, if permitted, we'll remain here on the station. I hope our presence and knowledge will be beneficial. I'm sure the captain will agree. Friends forever? Baku live a pretty long time, you know. <laughs>